high odd. Now we are moving on to the energy saving opportunities which is possible in the case of lighting system. In the previous lecture we have seen the various terms and the principles associated with the lighting system. And with that basic understanding we are moving on to the energy saving opportunities possible in the case of a lighting system. The most simplest one is the use of uh, natural daylighting. So we are having abundant amount of daylight which is available during the daytime. So uh, in our room we might be using curtains will be there, closed doors will be there. So we are trying to see whether we can utilize that uh, light which is outside the room for doing our indoor purposes. So this is just a basic example. We are having, in order to utilize the daylight, we are having a roof which is having the glass. So this will allow the light to pass through the system and the room is illuminated. So with that possible thing is use of natural daylighting. So another possibility is that we can use light pipes. Light pipes are nothing but a reflective tube at the bottom side and we are having a dome on the top side. So the around 360 degrees the light will be reaching onto this dome and the light goes a total internal reflection in the pipe and then it comes at the outside through a diffuser. So thereby the room is completely lit. So there are various ways in which we can use the daylighting. So whenever the only thing is that whenever you are using the daylighting we should always ensure that heat is not being transferred to the room. If the heat is being transferred to the room then if you are using an air conditioned room then the load on the AC will increase. So what are the savings which you are getting by using the daylighting will be uh, paid on that conditioning of that particular air inside the room. So uh, whenever we are uh, using such kind of systems uh, so these glass um, are such a way that it will only pass the light and it will not pass through the heat through the system. So a double glazed structure will help in avoiding the heat and letting the light to pass through the system. So the next opportunity is delamping to reduce the excess lighting and reducing the mounting height wherever possible. So we have seen uh, in olden days many structures we are having the twin lamp structure will be there. So you will be having the two lamps will be there in the same system. Or in the similar way, we will also have uh, three lamps in the same structure. So after installing the system only, we will be able to see that the light inside the system room is very high. So we can um, go for a energy saving opportunity by removing one such lamp from the system. So that is nothing but the day lamping. Other one is the mounting height wherever possible. In the industries and all, you will be having uh, big go-downs and all will be there. So uh, some assembling areas will be there. So you will be having a very large room structure will be there and you will be having the light system. So the light system will be having a mounting height like this. So we can try whether it is possible to reduce the mounting height post, mounting height of that particular lamp. So thereby it will be illuminating more area or more amount of light will be utilized at the area which we are working. So we can either look at delamping or look at reducing the mounting height wherever possible. So Next energy saving opportunity is implementing the task lighting. Task lighting is something but we have a work area and we are trying to provide the luminaire or the lighting to the point where we need the work to be completed. So that area is completely illuminated. So uh, this is a study room and we are having a table lamp which is allowing the light to lit to the place where we are sitting. So the good amount of lighting where we require is being provided by the task lighting and the general illumination or general illumination like uh, will be provided by the general luminance which is present in that system. So the task lighting will help in providing ample amount of light where we are doing the work. Next opportunity is selection of high efficiency lamps and luminaires. So the lamps we have already seen in our previous lecture, we are having the normal incandescent lamps will be there, CFL lamps will be there. So these lamps are uh, cost wise it is uh, less costly and but the efficacy of the system is very less. In the case of incandescent lamp it is only 14 to 16 watt. So in earlier case we have replaced all the incandescent lamps with the fluorescent lamps. 
now all these fluorescent lamps are being replaced with the LED lamps so because they are having a luminous efficacy of 90 to 100. So wherever possible we should look at replacing the lamps which are least efficient with high efficacy lamps. Next time in the saving opportunity is reduction in the lighting feeder voltage. So uh, the normal lamps you will be operating at 230 volt. So that is what is shown in this XY graph. So this is the 230 volt and to the right side of this it is increased in the voltage by 110 percentage, 120 percentage and here it is reduced, reduction in the voltage by 90 percentage, 80 percentage. So we can look at the curves 2 and 3 over here that is circuit power and the lamp power. So that is nothing but these two graphs. So we can see that when, whenever there is an increase in the voltage then the lamp power increases but whenever there is a decrease in the voltage then the power of the lamp reduces. So we should look at whether we can reduce that voltage which is supplied to that particular lamp. So in the case of industries and all we can use the lighting transformer and the transformer tap setting can be controlled in order to reduce the voltage which is given to the lamps. So you will be having the transformer will be there. So we can change the tap position but the number of windings can be controlled. Thereby we are able to get a reduced voltage. And one more thing is that if there is an increase in the voltage then the failure rate of the lamps will also increase. That is a higher voltage will result in a reduced life of that particular lamp. Next is using the automatic lighting controls. So uh, various types of controls are there. One is one such thing is the occupancy sensors. This you might have seen in the uh, corridors or you might have seen in the walkways uh, in hotels and all. So whenever uh, the area is not having a presence of human being, then the lights will be turned off. After that, whenever the person enters that particular room, the lights are automatically turned on. So that is implementing the occupancy sensors. Next one is the time based controls. The time based controls you will be having a timer will be there. So that timer can be set for each type of day that is from Monday to Sunday. So there will be working days will be there and non working days will be there. So depending upon that we can set when the lamps has to be turned on and when the lamps has to be turned off. So the simple implementation is you can just imagine we are having the street lights. And street lights, many of the places we have seen that the street lights are turned on even at 8 am or 9 am, 10 am, like that. Or sometimes it is being turned on at 4 pm or 5 pm, like that. So during when ample daylight is there. So that wastage of power because of early turning on or early turning off of the lamp, it can be controlled by using a timer. So the timer we can set that okay, at the 6 pm, the lamps has to be turned on. And by 6:30 a.m., the lamps has to be turned off. So this can be set automatic uh, in that particular timer, and it will operate based on that. So uh, these are some basic energy saving opportunities possible in the case of lighting system. And there are many more uh, ideas can be put up in saving. One such thing is that the proper maintenance of a lighting system. You might have seen that in the case of uh, street lights and all. The street lights after one year or use there will be a lot of dust which is present on that luminar and thereby it decreases the amount of light which is coming to the walking area. So we can claim that particular luminar so this will help in uh, increasing the light output. So we can identify a lot much more opportunities in the case of uh, energy saving in lighting systems. Thank you.